In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. And uh, welcome, dear friends of Our Lady of the Roses, Mary, Help of Mothers, and all of our friends on Facebook, Twitter, and social media. And uh, blessings, many, many blessings today in this glorious feast day of Corpus Christi, which I think uh, Daryl had mentioned uh, in the new calendar, the solemnity is today, and on Thursday, it is the traditional uh, feast day of Corpus Christi. And one of the great lessons that Our Lady and Our Lord have taught us in the message is certainly the importance of reverence for the body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ. They've reinforced the articles of our faith that this is truly Jesus Christ, body and blood, soul and divinity. And isn't that important? Especially when you, if you believe some of these surveys, half the priests and 60% of Catholics do not even believe in the true presence. And so this is a great, great reinforcement from Our Lady and Our Lord throughout the message. And so much so, too, that they've asked us to exhibit or demonstrate that faith as well. So that meaning we only receive from the consecrated hands of a priest, only on our tongue, and if possible, kneeling. So this is the posture that we should take to demonstrate that faith in our Lord. And we have another grand feast day next weekend. That, of course, is the 50th anniversary of Our Lady of the Roses, Mary Help of Mothers. And I think, of, as we have already announced many times, the major celebration, because of corona virus uh, pandemic, has been moved to the big St. Michael weekend. However, we have to mark next weekend, June 18th, and uh, next weekend, of course, would be June 20th, but we certainly have to mark this day with some type of a celebration as well. And so we will. We will have a procession at 7 p.m., Bring your white gloves, and of course we'll have our rosary vigil. We'll be praying uh, the audio. We'll be uh, also we'll be doing our usual prayers, but we will have an audio message as well. And so we'll make this uh, as special as we can under a uh, duress, really, um, during this time of pandemic. And and then the next day we'll have the Sunday holy hour and weather permitting, we might even have a sandwich and celebration cake right over there after the Sunday holy hour. Again, weather permitting, let's have a little fun. Let's celebrate. Why not have a double celebration for Our Lady of the Roses on her 50th anniversary? And just reviewing the 1978 messages, I'll leave you with this thought, good people. One of the recurring themes of the message is to convert the unbeliever. Pray for your poor, wayward, aimless brothers and sisters. How many times have Jesus and Mary have said that in the message? To show heart, compassion for uh, humanity. Reach out to them with this message, with our faith, and try to save their souls. Because as Our Lady said, many are on the road to perdition, and many will be burnished, banished forever in the city of the damned with Satan. Interesting ex expression that Our Lady used. Many will be banished forever in the city of the damned with Satan. We, don't, we certainly don't want that, especially with our loved ones. And so let us come here to one of the holiest spots on earth and petition Our Lady of the Roses, Mary Help of Mothers, for these poor souls. And next weekend we have a, a really a fantastic a package for those uh, out of town, Facebook, Twitter, social media. We have a great package at the Hampton Inn for $159 with breakfast. So you can come to the vigil, stay over, and then go to the holy hour the next day. For those who can travel by car or bus, certainly we urge you to do so. This is the time. Come on the holiest, one of the holiest spots on earth, Our Lady and Our Lord's home, petition 
Jesus and Mary. And uh, it's very interesting. Uh, William uh, Dykes just came back from a funeral in Maryland. And you talk about a spectacular, spectacular save through Our Lady of the Roses, Mary, Help of Mothers. His aunt, his aunt was away from the sacrament. Well, we're still figuring this out, whether it's 50 years or 60 years. His aunt was away for decades. And the brown scapula was put around her literally minutes before she was declared dead. Minutes before she was declared dead, the brown scapula was put on Bill's aunt. What a tremendous save through Our Lady of the Roses, Mary Help of Mothers. So it works, good people. It works. The holy grounds, the prayers descending upon us, death, the graces that are raining down upon us, they are powerful. Jesus said July 25th, 1985, you need every vestige of grace that we send your way for your spiritual welfare or you will lose your soul. I repeat, that's our Lord's words. You need every vestige of grace that we give you to survive these end times, good people. That's why you come here. That's why you're here offering your prayers, your love, and your sacrifice. And not just you, your job is to bring others with you and to pray and to pray for your loved ones as well. So for those who can't join us, uh, we continue with the UIPGC, Unite in Prayer General, a uh, global crusade. But please, we urge you, especially for the 50th anniversary next weekend, join us. You might not be able to join us in September, but next weekend you have an opportunity. You have great hotel accommodations at a very reasonable price, and it will be a beautiful, grace-filled weekend that you can apply to your loved ones. We all have loved ones that have fallen away from the faith. So let's do that. Let's unite in, in our love and prayer, and let's step on these holy grounds, the home of Jesus and Mary, on Our Lady's 50th golden anniversary. God bless you. Our Lady of the Roses, Mary Help of Mothers, pray for us. St. Michael the Archangel, our patron, pray for us. Veronica of the Cross, pray for us.